Hello and welcome. In this uh, tutorial I will walk you through installing uh, Git source control uh, for Visual Studio. To begin, go to gitscm.com and click on the Downloads button and select Windows to download the installer. Next is for us to run the installer and uh, install git which is here so uh, click next uh, we can pretty much accept all the default options um, hit next here uh, yeah the defaults are fine next again uh, use uh, git bash only is fine hit next check out windows style commit unix style line endings is fine and um, just basically let it uh, run the installer and install the git command line uh, application onto your system which goes fairly quickly so uh, once the installer is done uh, you click finish and that um, finishes the command line installation portion of this tutorial okay so now that we have the command line uh, application for Git. Uh, next is to go to Tools, Extensions, and Updates and um, search here for Git. Uh, well, first select Online and then uh, type Git. And uh, the first option here is Git Source Control Provider, which is what we want. Click on Download. This will download the uh, Git source control uh, provider for Visual Studio 2012 and hit, hit install. It'll go through and it'll um, give you a confirmation and it'll ask you to restart so click the restart now button which will restart Visual Studio and um, once uh, Visual Studio comes uh, back up uh, the last step is to configure um, the um, provider. So to finish things off, uh, all we have to do in Visual Studio is to go to Tools again under Options. And there's a tab here called Source Control. Select that. Notice it says right now Visual Studio Team Foundation Server. If you click on the drop down, now you also see a Git Source Control Provider, which you select and say OK. And uh, what this does is it actually gives you a, a whole separate window for Git. That's all I have um, uh, for part one. Uh, for next part, um, I will demonstrate how to actually work with the uh, Git source control provider um, and uh, check items in and out of source control. Thank you.